Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Oh, hi, and thanks again, everybody. I'm on the phone with uh, Bob Whitmore, who has been trying to get off hold with the phone company. Bob, let me put you on the speakerphone here. Uh, Bob, can you hear me okay? Uh, Yeah, you sound great. No no luck yet with Verizon, huh? Not a single bit of progress. Okay, well, just... I'm on the air right now. Once I get this figured out, we'll figure this out. Okay. I've just been trying to find out from the phone company how much I owe because I can't find my last bill. Uh, Bob and I have been on hold for two days now trying to give them money. But without a lot of information from the bill, I can't substantiate the fact that I'm a real person. And, of course, there is essentially no local phone office you can go to anymore. I remember when growing up in Washington, Indiana, the phone company was a block off Main Street and I knew a lot of people there and if we made too many long distance calls, we'd get a call at home from the telephone company saying, are you aware that your son's been on the phone that much? Anyway, today the phone company is uh, all messed up, it's decentralized, it's hard to find out anything. The area codes don't look like area codes. When I was in Long Beach, the area code was 562. Now, the original system was first developed in 1947. It was implemented in 1951, and it was called the National Area Numbering Plan. And as we've talked about this before, it was based upon the number of digits in each uh, area code. For example, uh, 212 was New York City. That's 2 and 1 is 3 and 2 is 5, only 5 clicks. Some really rural places had long area code numbers. It was all done so the early equipment could understand what was happening. Now the area codes are indecipherable, and there is talk that within the next couple of decades, we will have to go to four-digit area codes. Well, we certainly have come a long way since those days, and now we have little tiny cell phones, and uh, we've been through all of them. Yes, Bob? Uh, just clowns. keep waiting, Still hell freezes over. if necessary, yes. I'm Dennis Daly with your Daily News Update. Hell freezes over.